What's going on guys? It's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video. What a crazy day for Firo since my last video. We've actually met my technical target exactly. And once we're above this technical target, that puts us in another technical target to $30, which unlocks Firo's bull run basically. That actually starts above $11. So this is the level that we want to see broken. So what I'm seeing now is that on the four hour time frame, I can see that we just had a 50% move in one candle, in one four hour candle. Guys, this is ridiculous. The market cap just went up 50% in four hours. This is so freaking bullish, guys. What I can say, though, is that we're quite extended from the EMAs now. So this is an area where we could come down to. Before we carry on with this video, though, guys, I just want to take you to my Twitter. If you're not following me already, follow me at Louis underscore crypto. I'm just going to take you back to a post that I posted about two days ago. I said Bitcoin's breaking out. It will meet my first target at 63.5k and then on to my next technical target at 65.786k. A new all-time high is already programmed. And I said this when we were in this ascending triangle just below, just at 62.7k. And then what's happened? Go to my page. So yeah, that was the post. And then boom. Egg Zach. Elite to the freaking dollar we hit my six both targets of course 65.78 and they actually we carried on and we hit 66k and of course what did i say yesterday no videos today i'm too busy celebrating of course after i'm going to celebrate today especially going up 50 percent. so for the day i think fire is up about 35 percent, and then in one candle it's done 50 percent. this is ridiculous guys let's take a look at the daily so yeah, on the daily right now, we're currently up, yeah, about 33%. This is ridiculous, guys. So this happens a lot with Fire, right? Where you get these massive pumps. And to be honest, guys, it's going to end up as a big wick. Like, it's very good now we've come to the top of this range. So remember in the last video, I said, as long as we're holding $5 support, we will head to $11. That was my thumbnail. And what have we done? Exactly what I said. I said we kept on making higher lows, so we should start making attempting to break higher highs. And that's what we're doing right now. This is the first attempt at resistance. And what I can tell you guys is that you don't usually break resistance on your first attempt. I wouldn't be surprised if you come away a little bit and then go and try and break $11. Because once you're above $11, remember, it puts us in loads of technical targets. I think we had a, when we measured the fibs here of this wave down, it gave us, once we broke above $11, an impulsive wave to $94. And because um, with the fibs, you're no longer retracing, you're actually creating a reversal wave once you break above the 618. And the 618 is the $11 area. And so that puts us in a technical target at the golden pocket, the golden ratio, the 1618 at $94. And along the way, we're also getting above this 618 at $30, which also creates this reversal wave and puts us in a technical target to minimal the high, which is $167. But if we're breaking this high and back testing this as support, as I said in the last video, we should see 560 as a minimal target because that is the 1.272 and that's what you, minimally go to after you break the all-time high basically so yeah that's that's fire for you yeah all our, um one more thing which i said already about this uh technical target to the upside it's also inverted head and shoulders and it's also a w pattern but yeah you need to break this neckline at 11 dollars. it's good that we're there now it's just can't really go on the smallest of time frames because not accurate you get loads of wicks like these so wouldn't even be surprised that's what we see now a massive wick to the uh, massive wicks to the upside and we come down because look where the moving averages is oh this is the one hour so let's go on the four hour so yeah very far away so at least coming down back to in and around these levels potentially this is the level of in and around so it's, a, it's an area so the bottom of the area is eight dollars twenty and the top of the area is eight dollars sixty six so it's in and around this area where we're going to see 
uh, this comeback down, find support before trying to go and break that $11 and then head into our technical targets. Perfect, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please leave a thumbs up and what altcoin you want to see next. I can't make another video today because I'm busy today, but in the next days, I will make a video on the altcoins that you provide down in the comment sections below. Yeah, literally just ask any questions that you have in the comment section down below. I'm trying to get this community going. The only thing that makes this algorithm pop are the likes and the comments. So please like, please comment. I also realized that in the last video, over 90% of you are not subscribed. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and to keep on top of my posts, hit the notification bell. Perfect guys, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.